tanging tire. So yeah, so I, I play David on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and uh, I my I, I play the brother to Zoe. Sort of, there's like a little bit of an aimless quality to him. I think he doesn't quite know where he fits in in life, and uh, has been trying to figure that out. And I think with the with his father passing away, which is what we spent all last season dealing with, you know, now that that's done, that journey essentially, um, he's sort of left wondering, okay, well, what, what am I, how am I going to live my life in a way that would make my father proud and in a way that would uh, honor his idea that life should be full of bigger moments and bigger memories. But you have a very big musical background, like you have done musical theater, so I feel like this show was a perfect fit for you from the beginning, just for your love of song and music, right? Uh, yeah, I, I 100%. I mean, I just, everybody's like, oh, how do you like doing it? It's like, well, I can't, I would never be able to find anything that I liked doing more, uh, aside from doing actual theater, which obviously nobody can do right now, uh, you know, in the moment. Um, and then on top of that, to get to do it on TV where you actually get, you know, paid to do it is kind of amazing. And every, you know, and it's also great because it's not like we, we're, it's not like you rehearse a show and we do it for six months. We rehearse a show and then we do it for, sometimes 20 minutes. Well, aside from Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist and all of your work at the Groundlings, where else can people and fans catch up with you? Where can we find you? On Instagram, I do. I actually interview people oh. um, uh, it, as, a, as a character that I do at the Groundlings. And you can, you can actually go on uh, my IGTV um, at Andrew Leeds and see, like I interviewed Jane Levy from the show and I interviewed Alex Newell and you can watch me interview them as this obnoxious character. Andrew Leeds, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing you on all of your future projects. And once everything opens back up, make sure you stay healthy. You can come visit us right here in the in Houston, Houston Life Studios. I've been to Houston a few times because I, when I was a kid, I did the show, uh, the musical Les Mis. Mm -hmm. I did a tour of it um, in like the late eighties. Went to Houston for the first time when I was in it. So I uh, went to Astroworld. Is Astroworld still around? No, Astroworld closed back in 05, and us Houstonians are still very sad and bitter about it, okay? It's it's a, a harsh realization we had to come to terms with once that That's happened. upsetting. And there wasn't there, wasn't there a water park next to it as well? Yeah, like Astroworld and Waterworld were right next door. Yeah. yeah, went to both, time of my life. Well, hopefully I'll see you. You have to come back and make some new memories here in your adult life. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Andrew, thank you so much again, and have a wonderful rest of your week. You too, it was great, great meeting you. How cool is it that he remembers his time in Houston so well with Astroworld and Waterworld, and he also remembered the Alley Theater. You guys can catch Andrew and the rest of the cast of Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist in a new episode this Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on KPRC2. Memory like an elephant. And that is crazy, and I always say, you've heard me say this many times, there's always a Houston connection, and I love his story. You do always say that, yeah, and he's got a really great connection. Isn't so great. Cool? It's a great show, too. Yeah, love it. Thanks, guys. Also remarkable how much time it takes to put that thing together. So much right. rehearsal. All right, Lauren. Right. Great Thanks show. for that. Sure. Well, speaking of.